Welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Over the past week, I've got a lot of messages from people in the Animal Crossing community wondering how to get more items to decorate their island quickly. Now, a lot of people have a misconception that the best way to do this is the time travel, but that is honestly the worst way to get more items in Animal Crossing New Horizons. It's certainly a way to do it, uh, but at that point, you're just kind of praying to the RNG gods that you get something that you want, and that's really just not the best way to really do anything in this particular game. So what we're going to be showing you today is our first community uh, catalog trading event, and this is what I highly recommend people in the community do. And if you don't have an Animal Crossing community already to do this with, make sure to join the Tagback TV Discord. We've got over 40,000 members and uh, I'm going to be adding a new catalog training channel so that way you guys can set up these events for yourselves and all of you can start trading catalog items to be able to decorate your islands more efficiently and with better items. Now eventually you're going to unlock the ability to not only buy special goods but you're going to be able to buy anything that you have found at Timmy and Tommy's or at like the Able Sisters and stuff like that. So all of these items that are for sale, you can't obviously trade the ones that are not for sale like holiday items, event items, and seasonal items and stuff like that. But pretty much anything else that you can buy in the stores that come in randomly you can purchase again or be able to trade for catalog items. And this is a very, very simple process. So what we're going to be doing for today's event is bringing our 10 favorite items that we've got in our catalog to various islands and allowing people to be able to pick them up and learn the catalog recipe. Well, not a catalog recipe, but basically have it available in their catalog to be able to purchase for themselves. It's a very simple process and a great way to community build, make friends, and get items. So I'm going to go ahead and pick out my 10 items really quick, and I'm going to show how we're setting it up for our event so that way you all can set it up easily for yourselves as well. So I set up a pretty simple like makeshift trading area here and this is what I highly recommend if you decide to host these particular events. It's going to make things go a lot smoother. You can let people know exactly where you need to go to find your little trading area. I made a really really quick makeshift one and obviously you're going to have to change it depending on how many items you're wanting people to bring. But I'm wanting people to bring 10 items to this particular trading event. So I've made a uh, room enough for them to be able to put 12 if they want, just in case. Um, so all you need to do when you get to this trading event is drop your items in the designated area. And then once everybody drops their items, then you can go around and start trading. Now the process for trading is very, 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 very simple. And you can see that I set the fences up just enough so that items don't get mixed in and everybody knows whose is whose. But once you drop all of your items, all you need to do is just go around and pick up somebody's item that you want, and then you put it back down. This will register it in your catalog and make it purchasable for you. That's all it takes. It is super duper simple. And just pick up, drop down. Once you're done, move on to the next stall, pick up and drop down, and vice versa, and just go through. And then you can keep cycling in new people and getting tons and tons of catalog items. Now we're going to invite our members to this particular session. We're going to show exactly how it's going to work with the members. And I hope you all enjoy the video. And hopefully it helps people be able to decorate their islands more efficiently. Now the way I recommend hosting these is the same way that we host our turnip stuff on the Tagback TV Discord. And you can set these up and you can host your own islands here. So all you need to do is click on this and set up our Dodo code. Now that we've got our Dodo code selected, we can go into the next section here. Uh, we are in the Northern Hemisphere. You can set your turnip prices if you're deciding to trade turnips. You can also set your fruit, which is really convenient. And then we're not doing that. We can set the time code here. We could basically add all the information that you would want to if you were trading turnips. But you can also put your information here for catalog trading if you so desired. Um, but let's see. We're going to do visitor uh, limit 7, Q25, private islands, keep your private from searches, which is what we want to do for our scenario here. Click next. It's just a really good site for pretty much doing anything that you want to do. And then you share this link to get people to join. So far, everybody's doing everything just like they need to. That's why these little partitions are definitely going to help speed things up. Looks like we got some clothing from some people, some walls, some clothing. Definitely good. I didn't make enough spots, so some people are going to have to just find other spots. Uh, but I'm definitely curious to see what kind of items we're going to get. We're going to start trading here in just a moment. 
I guess we can just go ahead and start. So let's see. We got, ooh, a popped up toaster. I've already got that one. Desktop computer. Nice. Drop that bad boy back down. That's all it takes is just to pick it up. Ooh, a clothes closet? Don't have... I don't think I have one of those. I've got the one that you can craft, but not that one. Espresso maker. Nice. And it's just a fun way to kind of find new items. A long bathtub. I think I've got that one. And then a throwback gothic mirror. Cute vanity. Ooh. Oh, nice. Got an antique table here. And a formal paper. Right? Both of those I don't have. And also, make sure that you only bring the amount of items that you need to, so that way you can easily keep track of what items you have picked up from other people. Intercom monitor. Don't have that one. That guy just picked up everything at once. What is he doing? <laughs> A cuckoo clock. Nice. I mean, I guess that works. It's an inefficient way of doing things, I suppose. A shower set. Nice. Oh, nice. Finally found that old sewing machine. I've seen a couple of these in the tours that I've been doing, and they look so nice. Ooh, cartoonist set? And I definitely highly recommend getting things that you know, or bringing things that you know aren't super duper common. Uh, why can't I pick this up now? Are we crashing? I can't pick that item back up. Uh, we got a painting set. That was the first time I've seen that. Interesting. So when you're doing this method, I really recommend picking up one item at a time and dropping it. That way you don't forget to put back somebody's item that you picked up. Uh, there is a problem with this where you could run into potential thieves. On the plus side of this, everything that you're dropping is repurchased or everything that you're bringing is repurchasable. So it's not like you're losing it forever, but it does still really suck if somebody starts stealing items. So if you're doing this, Make sure to be a good person. Don't be one of those types of people. You know what I'm trying to say. I can't say it on YouTube, but you know what I'm trying to say. Just be a good person. It's not that hard. You literally have to try and be a terrible person. Just help each other out. Have fun. And um, just expand your catalog. You know, everything that you pick up here, you don't need to steal. Because you can just then buy it in your catalog. It's super duper easy. And um, you can find some really cool items this way. Oh my god, somebody brought me a golden toilet. The most glorious of all items that you can get in the game. I can't wait to put it somewhere. So we finished up our trading event here, and it went really, really well. Uh, but there is one thing that I want to mention that kind of will help speed up the process of getting new people in. And that is if you hit the minus button on your controller like you were going to save and close, you'll have the option to end the session. Now this will cause everybody to save and everybody to leave at the same time, rather than having to wait for like seven people to leave individually, which can be a literal nightmare. That is going to be the best way to close down the sessions and start inviting new people to be able to uh, start trading even more at a bit of a quicker pace. So hopefully that helps out a little bit. But this process is definitely the best way to acquire items to be able to decorate your islands and houses in a much quicker fashion. But we did get a toilet today, ladies and gentlemen. And the toilet is absolutely amazing. So I just wanted to showcase this. And we need to create something to use this toil. So we're going to we're going to make this a throne and we're going to build a throne area real quick because I want to and it is going to be the place we start and end all of our videos from now on. So it's the next day and I think we created something pretty awesome, at least in my opinion. I don't know if everybody's going to like it, but I certainly appreciate it. And oh, you can already see parts of it. So we've got two Godzillas up here. We've got a bunch of the raccoon figurines. And we've got the Toilet of Awesomeness. It's the perfect throne area. I would have liked to put some trees up here, but there wasn't enough room. I would have had to do a lot more terraforming. The best part is that it flushes when you get off of it. I do want to add some like flowers and trees and stuff down here to kind of make it look a little bit better. Uh, the only thing that I can really put down here, though, would be something like these cacao trees here. To kind of make it look... I wish they had the pots. So I need to find something to make that look just a little bit better. And we're going to probably be doing more of these uh, catalog exchanges. So that way we can find something to put here. Obviously getting other people a whole bunch of stuff as well. And then I probably do a little bit of flowers and maybe some lights down here to help make it look a little bit better. 
But I don't know. It's ridiculous, and I love it. But I do hope this video helped you all out today. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below, and make sure to join the Discord. I will leave a link in the description and on the pinned comment. Feel free to join. We got 40,000 members in that Discord, all doing all sorts of crazy things in Animal Crossing New Horizons. But I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one.